To export your file, once you design your board, again, use your dimension line or your, your outline. Put that as a polygon on the Eco2 user board uh, layer. And make sure that you have uh, modified your page settings to uh, an area something like this. It doesn't really matter that much, um, but I made it small so I can see things. It makes it a little bit easier. You want to make sure that your board is on your uh, your layout here. It's kind of hard to see it, but it says title, revisions, all that kind of stuff. Make sure that your board is there. You're going to click on Place Auxiliary Axis, and you put it on the left bottom uh, corner. Same thing with this Set Origin Point. That's going to be the bottom left corner, so make sure they coincide. And what I'm going to do is show you two ways to export this. So the first way, you go to File, Export, SVG. I only have the front copper layer and the Eco2 selected. 0.1 millimeter uh, is my pin size. I did black and white, and I got to click Current Page Size. If you just say Board Area Only, it doesn't generate correctly for some reason. Um, one file per layer is what I like to do. And I'm putting it in a relative folder called Example. So I'm going to export these. And now I can go into Mods. And I'm going to go to Programs, Open Server Program. And let's say I'm doing it on the Roland Mill. I'm going to say PCB SVG. Select from that example folder. Um, let's do the front copper. So that's going to be the traces. Now, in order for this to work, we need to invert the colors. That's something that we just have to do for uh, mods. Um, note again the size of this image. If I didn't change my page size, then this would be really tiny. It'd be hard to see what's going on there. Uh, so we really want to make sure that we zoom into it, um, and that's what I changed the page size uh, on my PCB file for. Next is we're going to say mill traces, and come over here and calculate. And so it has generated the cut file. Now, as you can see, uh, I actually have some issues with this design. I need to go back and fix some things, but um, that's the cut file. Now, if we want to do the dimension line, we go back, we click the user file, invert that, and we got to say mill traces and then calculate. And there we go. We've got the traces. So that's the first way.